Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and today we are continuing the 78 days of tarot single daily readings and today we are going to look to the high priestess as a spirit guide for this reading and we are going to ask what you are not seeing. So if you felt drawn to watch this video this reading is probably for you but don't force it to resonate if it doesn't resonate. Okay just go with your intuition go with your gut especially in a reading like this where the high priestess is our guide. The high priestess rules over all things unspoken all things things in the invisible realms that you're not seeing. So let's see what you're not seeing. Okay. We're just going to shuffle up the energy Oracle deck and get some, some tea. First card out is the angel of love in reverse. Okay. So right off the bat, we are wanting to talk about romance, love. There is something here in that realm that is wanting to come through. Now, normally Actually, you know what? I wasn't even going to read this card from the book, the Angel or the um, Energy Oracle, but I feel really guided to read this for you because I know there's a really important message in this card. And I just saw 111 on the camera timer, so that is all the confirma confirmation I need. So, in the reverse position, the Angel of Love could indicate a possible disconnect in matters of the heart. While this sometimes signifies a divorce or separation, it could imply an emotional rift where two people stay connected on a superficial basis, yet at a deeper level seem to be going their own separate ways. So, I'm seeing a sort of disconnect. This could be someone you're already in separation with, you may not even be in contact with them, and they're still emotional energy shared between you or this is someone you're still connected with still in contact with and there isn't an emotional connection there so whichever boat you fall in this is the area of life that the high priestess as a spirit is wanting to illuminate for you this is what you're not seeing in this position, the angel can also refer to an old separation if the longing remains alive in one partner's heart. If you find yourself unable to let go, this loving angel is telling you that it's time to release any toxic or unrequited attachment you may be holding on to. This could also show that someone from your past is still holding on to you. And what you're not seeing is that you guys are just not talking about it and you're not communicating openly about it. So very interesting. The universe is waiting for you to free your heart and open your life to the fully present and honoring love that you so rightly deserve. So look in the mirror and see the angel of love there with you. Know that you are worthy of this tender emotion from yourself and others. So essentially what um, is being said here is that you deserve uh, friendships, relationships, family members who love you exactly for who you are and what you are in the present moment. So whether you recently have broken up or you're in separation with someone and one of you or both of you can't stop thinking about each other, or if you are currently with people who clearly are not loving on you and there's an emotional rift between you, you deserve better. And I feel like that's what you're not seeing here. Mm. Uh, so I feel like um, there's more to say on this subject, but let's see what else comes out from the energy oracle we have community okay so um i don't know why i feel like this reading is really in alignment with everything i've been picking up with the collective recently too um, at the time that i'm filming this we are seeing a need for you to connect deeper to your own community of people who are here for you in the present moment that is totally playing off of what we just said the number seven the number 49 may be coming up for you a lot at this time let's read this one from the booklet as well so you get a good um understanding connection with kins kindred spirits this card shows three women celebrating sharing ideas and supportive energy this light the lights in the picture represent your ever-present spirit community as well when this card appears upright it indicates an association of some kind it may be a casual connection of like-minded people joining a club or community of some sort or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities. The time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions, whether they're personal or professional. So your spirit team, your spirit guides, your spirit friends are guiding you to form more connections, to sort of cultivate and build a community for yourself. If you already have communities that you're a part of, you may want to deepen the connections within that community as well. And that will help you sort of 
overcome this angel of love reverse energy that we were just talking about. Networking and community are important parts of the human experience and the security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. It's true that when several people join their intentions, it accelerates their power in the energetic realm. That's why witches create covens because you can much easier manifest things when you're manifesting as a group. And that's also why when, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this before. I mean, a lot of us who watch tarot readings are very spiritual people. If you have communities or friendships of people who are also like-minded in that spiritual sense, it really, really heightens your psychic experiences. And this is coming from me when I'm around other psychic mediums, which is very rare because it's not like a common thing um, that people possess and really dive into in this in this world. Um, I feel like my own abilities get tremendously stronger. So when you find those types of friends and connections, it's important for you to really cherish them and you know keep them in your life, essentially. Um, so if you don't have that for yourself, this is Spirit's guidance to create that and your life will move forward much more rapidly when you have this community. Mm. And your spirit guides are seemingly like helping you work through any sort of complacency <laughs> when it comes to your social life or social anxiety that may be preventing you from connecting with a community of like-minded individuals, okay? How do you create those connections? You can join classes, you can join clubs. There's apps like Bumble BFF or um, there's groups on Facebook, things like that, where you can talk to people, you can find people within your community. There's also online places like this, this channel here, Everyone watching is into tarot reading. So I'm sure if we ever had a meetup, which, you know, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but, you know, <laughs> we would all do some pretty profound spiritual work together. So I, I just think like you should go to activities that you're interested in and communicate with the people there, whether it's online or in person. Ideally, you want to create a community of people in person um, and that's what you're not seeing right now the importance of that and the importance of spending more time with the people in your life and how much that will help you in your manifestation journey but also just your life in general receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending some beneficial ally alliances your way like the happy family card this could also indicate a party or celebration of some kind so what you don't see coming <laughs> is that the universe is going to be sending you some amazing soul family connections and that could be friendships relationships uh, people who are of similar mind and energy you all have your own unique personality for sure uh, your own different ways of looking at things, but I feel like the universe is wanting to bless you in this way. Okay, first card out for you is the Four of Air. And the Four of Air, Four of Swords, shows that you may have been in a period of resting or just going within yourself, like a wintry type of season in your life where you may have been spending a lot of time with yourself on your solo hobbies, um, at home, working on your projects, your goals, your wishes, which is great. I feel like you needed this. And for some of you, I'm really actually seeing this period may have actually lasted you a couple of years <laughs> where you didn't really feel particularly guided towards friendships and cultivating new friendships because your spirit may have been guiding you towards things like making money or taking care of yourself. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of you who selected this video to watch, this reading. Um, also, the past few years, you've been doing some extremely deep personal, psychological, and emotional healing work. Um, so that's really great. And I feel like you're sort of coming back to a place where the universe is now saying, yeah, it's important to connect deeper with others. And during the past few years, as you're focusing on yourself and your own healing journey, um, you know, you may have had some unsuccessful friendships and relationships, uh, or you may have even, you know, separated from quite a few friends during that time because they weren't aligned with you. Um, and, you know, I feel like you're ready now for these beautiful connections to come in. Yeah, what a good confirmation. Three of water, three of cups, same card as the community card in reverse. When we were just saying you have been separating from friends recently, you know, some of you may have gone through breakups or friendship breakups um, these past few years, like one after another is what I'm feeling for so many of you. And it's it's been frustrating. And 
I feel like within that chapter of your life, you actually learned how to be okay on your own. Your sense of independence really increased and you did some much needed healing work on yourself. You were able to listen to your own creative voice um, as opposed to just going along with the crowd, going along with the flow, which you may have done many, many years ago. You successfully broke out of that. I feel like these past few years, you also successfully broke away from any codependent ways of thinking. Um, and you know, you had to be on your own to do this. That's what Spirit's saying. It was all within divine timing. The reason you had so many failed friendships and relationships these past few years is because we were breaking you out of codependency and the need to rely on other people for happiness. We were increasing your independence. We were helping you find your own inner voice, doing some deep personal psychological healing. Like your spirit guides were working very, very heavily with you these past few years and you weren't alone. You know, you may have thought like all of these friendships, relationships aren't working out, but you had a ton of relationships in, in spirit, spirit guides, angels, ancestors connecting with you deeply these past few years. And you've successfully completed all that work. So what you don't see coming is is that your spirit guides are starting to send you more of a community feel and you will be meeting new people or people who you weren't really close to prior maybe randomly like coming up and you know messaging you liking all your instagram stories things like that wanting to hang out um these are all signs, okay? You're entering a chapter that is much more social again, and it's safe for you to dive back into this social chapter. And you know what? I feel like it's, you may think it's difficult. There's a part of you that may feel scared or there's a resistance I'm feeling from you uh, when it comes to making new friends or uh, maybe some of you don't feel ready to date, don't feel ready to meet new friends at this time. The resistance is coming from heartache and pain. So there may be some soul loss there that you need to reconcile because I feel like some of the friendships or relationships, situationships that have ended in the past few years, um, there was a lot of trust lost in those friendships and relationships. So these could have been friends who didn't have your back. This could have been relationships where there was lying, cheating, stealing, or just not committed to you, you know, friendships and the relationships that just weren't loyal to you. They were not committed. They let the friendship, the relationship go when you were doing a lot of work to keep it together. And that is where that resistance is coming from. So if we are, if during this reading you feel a resistance to this message like i don't know if i'm like wanting to go out there and put myself out there and be social the reason you feel that resistance is because there is still some some healing that needs to take place and i just saw 11 11 on the camera timer again wow that is again confirmation of what we're saying first and foremost but we keep seeing these repeating ones and that is showing me that there are new people entering your life soon or people you're already aware of and you know but they're going to be entering your life in a much deeper way because spirit is really wanting to work on your community and love and open your heart back up to love at this time so let's see what else comes out that you don't see here I always like to press into the areas of life that I feel the most resistance towards so if you guys are feeling resistance to the concept of making new friends or signing up for classes or just putting yourself into a more social atmosphere. Ask yourself why, journal about that, get to the root of that. We have the king of water, oh my gosh. So this is showing us, um, some of you guys, some of y'all, like this is romance as well. And this is someone who is emotionally available and it's not just romance, like these are the types of friends that I'm seeing here. Someone very emotionally available who wants to protect your heart. They have a lot of compassion. They are a giver just like you. Um, may also be either creative or spiritually minded. And I feel like a lot of you guys watching are spiritually minded, obviously. And I know a lot of creative people um, watch tarot as well. <coughs> so you may be um, connecting with people just like you in that regard. And it's going to be very refreshing. Um, so that's really great. The king of water is someone who has healthy boundaries. And that's a thing that I feel like you learned in this process in the past few years is how to have healthy boundaries and not give your whole heart away <laughs> before you know whether someone is trustworthy or not. And, um, you know, I, I feel like you're, you're sort of forgiving the past 
um, or you're having to forgive the past as these new people come in, I just feel like your spirit guides in the universe is going to be a lot kinder to you in the upcoming weeks and months when it comes to the people they bring into your energy. And these newer, newer folks who are coming in are just going to have kind intentions. Now, obviously, use your own discernment, your own judgment with everyone you meet, but King of Water is a really good sign. This is like, in my, my opinion, the ideal... Um, king energy, uh, someone who is mature. They have healthy boundaries, but their heart is open. You know, they're not someone who is afraid of love and shies away from love and, you know, gets all weird when you get emotional and runs away. They're not a runner. They're going to, they're going to stand their ground when it comes to uh, difficult conversations that may need to be had in relationships and friendships, which honestly, all relationships, all friendships require difficult conversations from time to time. And if you notice, like in the past, you kept connecting with people who would either get really defensive or run away from those conversations. Like that's what you're not tolerating any longer. Some of you guys are, you yourself are in your king of water energy, king of cups energy. And that's why you're attracting a king of cups type of person here. The, and honestly, king of cups is the ideal lover in my opinion, because they're here long term they're loyal they're committed um they're king you know they want to protect and nurture all of their relationships it may take a while to get to the level of like the depth um of that sort of commitment and relationship uh because they don't just give away their hearts willy-nilly however like once you're there you're there forever and i feel like you guys are the same way so that is a beautiful type of person that you are attracting into your life or your connection with them is deepening okay and it feels very masculine so for a lot of you this will be a man or someone with predominantly masculine energy coming in for you this could be romantic this could be a really good friend okay let's see what else wants to come out what don't you see we have justice in reverse mm. see here's the thing guys you're gonna have to take a good hard look at your own red flags <laughs> when it comes to relationships and what may need to, what may need healing um what are your own what are you resisting in friendships what are your issues your shadows your fears that may block you i want to get more clarity on this justice card coming out in reverse and also 11 there's more ones <laughs> all right clarity why did the justice card come out in reverse why did the justice card come out in reverse? Justice is sort of an energy of like, you reap what you sow. So when it comes out in reverse, it's saying, if you want positive results, you have to put in positive work. Okay, we have the two of earth, which is balance, and we have the empress. Okay, give and take. How is your ability to receive versus your ability to give in relationships? What you give is what you get. Okay, that's the wisdom of the two of earth, especially when it's clarifying the justice card. So how is your ability to receive? And same thing with Empress, you know, she manifests so much for herself. She represents that flow of abundance and the ability to um, bring good energies towards her using just natural nature energy. Um, so when it comes to connections, are you usually the one who's constantly overgiving and you don't have any boundaries when it comes to um making sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving or is it the opposite where you take a lot in from relationships but you don't give the same level of commitment and energy back okay like which is it what caused problems for you in the past take a look at your past relationships and failed friendships and ask yourself what did i do to contribute to this relationship being in my life and harming me okay wh where was my red flag what did i do wrong Mm, and it feels like it was an imbalance issue. So really analyze that. And when you understand what went wrong, you can step back into this Empress energy, the flow of abundance, and really attract um, good things to you. Another thing with the Empress coming out upright, I feel like in the past, so many of you watching may have overgiven and you you sort of racked up all this good karma <laughs> but the problem was your ability to receive uh may have been wounded and so when you start balancing things out and receiving and letting love come to you oh actually i don't know about this message because now i'm thinking like i feel like it's half and half for some of you it's like you need to learn how to relax and stop chasing 
love and you know good relationships and just let other people come to you you know you you were constantly the glue in connections um making sure that people felt heard and always the first one to reach out let other people come to you for others of you i'm seeing are you the one who runs from connections it may be a little bit of both for some of you which is very um <laughs> disorganized attachment style uh very interesting though because if you're the one running i feel like opposite message applies there you need to learn how to give in your connections and be the one who initiates conversations and plans and you know goes out of your way to show other people your your love your care your support for them so maybe a little bit of both with that message there interesting balance essentially is needed that's what you're not seeing balance is needed in your connections we have the 10 of fire mm, see some of you are resisting this message because you're like lara i have so much going on i have all these goals that i need to meet i have my dreams that i'm working on like where am i where am i scheduled Am I supposed to make time for relationships and friendships and, you know, building a community? If, if that's your excuse, then you really extra need community. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you are too busy holding everything together in your life right now that you don't have time for friendships, you don't have time for relationships, you don't have time for community, that is just confirming everything that's coming through in this reading. Because that means you don't have a community to help you. Mm, you shouldn't be doing everything that like think back to your ancestors living in villages living in tribes okay everyone had a job there and life was so much easier amongst nature you know i someone was talking the other day and i forget where i heard this from that the native americans who lived on the plains they would literally just spread the seeds on the field before they would, you know, do their migration. And then the buffalo would naturally migrate and run all along the plains and essentially push those seeds into the ground. So they did almost no work <laughs> when it came to propagating plants. They let nature do all the work. You know, that's the empress energy right there. It doesn't have to be difficult when you live in a community. And that is a community of not only like the tribe, but they're living in harmony in a community with the buffalo, with the plants, with nature, everything. Life becomes so much easier when you allow yourself to experience the community of, of the world, of nature itself. I have to pause and let my cat in. If, if you hear scratching at the door and meowing, that's what that is. What you're not seeing is that your life will become so much easier when you have a community of people to back you up, you know? For example, you can, and I used this example in a, in a reading recently, so I wonder if you guys saw that reading and you didn't listen to me, and that's why it's coming up again. But let's just say you have a group of people and you all have dinner once a week, and you each take turns making dinner. That is like, mm, like three dinners a month that you don't have to worry about making and that makes your life easier. You know what I mean? So when you have a community, it just makes life easier. I don't know how else to put it. You know, you have people who can help you watch your kids or feed your cats when you go away or look over your house, look over your health, tell you when you need advice, you know? It just makes life so much easier when you have people. And if your excuse for not prioritizing relationships, friendships, and all of that right now is that you're too busy, I just need to say that like that's a load of garbage <laughs> that is confirming extra confirming that you need community mm, that's what you're not seeing you need to prioritize it and spirit's gonna bring you someone amazing for sure what you're not seeing is that life becomes easier when you have healthy balanced relationships if you have any friendships or relationships in your life that feels draining that feels like you can't focus on it it's just too much that's a sign that it's not healthy or that's a sign that you're running <laughs> you're emotionally avoided and you're running so which is it guys because when you have healthy friendships and connections your life should be easier as a result mm, i love this okay i want to finish off with a message from mama moon since this is the high priestess's reading and she has a close connection with the moon Let's see what the moon wants to say as a closing message to you guys. I just really feel like there's going to be a, 
opportunities for love in the future for you, near future, like in the next couple of days and weeks, I feel. New moon in Aries, it's time to take action. Yes, yes. Call people up, tell them that you love them, plan some get togethers. You know, you can even use your community, your support system, your group of friends and organize something that helps everyone out. You know, organize a system, a village that helps everyone out and makes each other's lives easier. You can take on the leadership role with that. You can be the initiator. I love this reading for you guys so much. Mm, it's time for you to start opening yourself back up and leaning on the people around you for support and allowing them to lean on you for support. Life becomes tremendously easier when you have a community and that's what you're not seeing right now. You need that community. So you can ask spirit, spirit, help me open my heart, my soul, my energy up to community, up to love and friendships and beautiful healthy connections and kindred souls that will help make my life easier and I can help make their life easier and more fulfilling, more beautiful. Turn me into someone who can sustain healthy relationships, who is open to it, who puts in equal efforts and who has healthy boundaries. Mm, what a beautiful thing to ask the universe. And they'll definitely listen, they'll definitely help you and you'll, you'll change into someone who can do that. Universe, I open my doors up to beautiful new connections that serve me and I serve them. You can bring them into my life now. I'm ready. Mm, I love this reading. I hope you guys have fun. Y'all are falling in love. <laughs> uh, definitely subscribe to this channel if you've not already. Like this video and comment how this resonated with you down below. And, you know, just leave some positive messages for each other in the comment section. If you had to speak to all your fellow viewers who also resonate with this reading, what would you say? If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there, some life coaching sessions there, and my blog. If you are interested in weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly readings, go over to my second channel, Spirit Psychic Tarot, to get that. I post those readings for each of the zodiac signs, okay? Thank you guys. Bye-bye.